Today, I'll show you how to do your Bybit crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're talking about Bybit and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about them, then I'll jump into the integration and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. And lastly, as always, if you have questions, I'll leave a bunch of resources down below. So Bybit was founded in 2018 and they're based out of Singapore. Currently, they are a top 10 exchange by trading volume. They have a lot of different features, which it would require a 10 minute video alone just to talk about what they have. But some features that they do have is regular spot trading derivatives, bot trading, crypto loans, and a lot more. Let me know in the comments below what you're using. But that's enough about them. Let's talk about the integration. Really straightforward stuff. We're gonna sign into Coinly as we always do. Um, if you don't have an account, make sure to create one. It's completely free to sign up. Then we're gonna go into the wallets area and we're gonna click on add wallet where we're gonna type in um, Bybit and there it is. So we have two different options. Let's start off with the setup auto sync, which is recommended. And just some notes here before you get into that. The API does not uh, provide trades that are more than one year old. Those older trades will need to be exported, uh, imported using a CSV file instead. So definitely keep that uh, in mind if you've had this um, platform, this account for a long period of time. Bybit API keys will expire after 90 days, so new keys need to be generated regularly. Okay, so on their platform, in the top right corner, you're gonna see a profile icon, and from there, we're gonna click on API, and then from here, we're gonna click on Create New Key, and then we're gonna click on System Generated API Key, uh, and then here, so um, uh, API Key Usage, API Transaction, name it something like Coinly. You can name it whatever you like, but I call it Coinly. Um, permissions, we're gonna click on read only, and we're interested in the no IP restriction option. And then from here, we're gonna click on everything since um, read only is selected. So withdrawal is obviously removed from this. We're interested in read only, keep that in mind. So we're gonna click on submit, and then we need to type in our 2FA. So here we have our API key. So make sure to, sorry, copy and paste that here. And then we have our secret. Make sure to copy and paste that there and click secure import. And there you have it. So that's one route you can take. You can also go down the CSV file route. So we would click on import from file and let me show you where to find those. Looking at our Bybit instructions on the side, which is a really cool new feature our team has been working on. So Bybit has um, a few CSV files you may need to include depending on the trans transactions you've made on the platform. So obviously if you're making a certain kind of transaction, you need a file associated with um, that type. So to get the asset history CSV files, you will actually have to email uh, their support team and the email is included here. Uh, to request a derivative account asset history and spot account asset history. So those are only of concern to you if you are dealing with those things. And then title your subject line, request derivative slash spot account asset history data and include the following information. So date range from, you know, the I believe this is when the platform was first established, January 1st, 2018 to the current date. Uh, coin type, we want everything. Format type, we need CSV. And in please include both the um, asset, spot asset history and derivative asset history. And here it says that you should receive your file within 10 working days. Um, some users have unfortunately also reported a bit longer, so be patient and be persistent. Okay, for the earn history CSV, you will um, only need to include this if you've participated in the Bybit earn program. So First step would be to log in to Bybit. Then it would be to select assets. And then from here, we would look on earn, earn account. And then we would click exp export. And then we would select a um, date range. So the maximum range is actually six months. So you will probably need multiple files. Make sure to get your entire transaction history. Take those files, drag and drop them into Coinly. And there you have it. Okay, so once all your data has been imported into Coinly, you can go into the transactions area and see underneath the hood, making sure everything is sitting correctly with you. Also making sure that your staking is tagged, tagged correctly, send to pool, send from pool, stuff like that. And then you can go into the tax report area for one final summary of your crypto activity throughout the year. 
And once you have everything here that you're happy with, you can look at your capital gains, your other gains, your income, your costs and expenses. Um, you can scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different documents to choose from. And some of these reports include for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant. Um, and then they can you know, combine that with your other documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their account seat firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and, and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today's video. Hopefully that was pretty straightforward. If you need further assistance, a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section if you like to talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section if all else fails, messages directly and we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribe for more crypto content and I'll see you next time. Peace.